Okay, did some measuring. Um, and you remember, I've got some of these drops here from, uh, from when I built the, or made the uh, stretchers. So I, I'm able to use those. And what I did was I measured uh, six mortises uh, and, and got, uh, oh, let's see, two readings, two of the four readings, or I had two matched pairs, I guess I'll put it that way. 0 0.390 was one, 0 0.395 was the other, then I had a 0.3865 and a 0.399. So I'm within about uh, 10,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that, I'm going to call that uh, 0.40. Okay. So it's going to, so my 10 and, no, I want to call that, I don't want to call it 0.40. Yeah, I do too. I want my tenon to be fat. So yeah, I want it 4-0. So then um, I measured the thickness of my wood and that's pretty consistent. That's within like 4,000. So it's 0.841 to 0.845. So I'm going to go with the middle one there, 0.843. And if you subtract your tenon or your mortise, your mortise and that gives me 0.443. So I want to divide that by 2, which I'm going to call 2, 2, I'm going to call that 2, 2, 2. So from this face, which is now 0, I want to move over 0 0.222, or 222 thousandths. So what I do then is I bring this up here because I'm going this direction. I get it as close as I can. I'll just put it right here. I'll put the needle at the top, close to the top. And then just lock that down. I'm gonna set my indicator to zero. I'm away from the blade there, okay. And I'm going to move this over 222 thousandths. So 1, 2, 10, 20, and 2, right? Oops, not this one. I'm going to loosen that one. 222, right there. Nope, every time I tighten that knot, it wants to. That's 225. I gotta be back here. So that's my zero now. That's going to take me, that's going to give me my first cut. Then from there I want to move over uh, 400 thousandths, which is four revolutions, plus the width of my blade, which is an eighth of an inch. So I want to go plus uh, five, two, five. So uh, when I get ready to move that, then I'm going to set this back to zero. I'm gonna, first I'm going to set my positive stop here, then I'll set my, my, my uh, next positive stop, i got to get my spacer in here, and then I'll be, uh, I'll be good to go. So let me make this first cut, then I'll move it, uh, set my next positive stop, and make that second cut, and uh, we'll see how close we come. I gotta get my uh, setup jig here. Hang on one second. This little critical piece here, this takes up the gap that spans these screws, so I don't, uh, you know. 
Otherwise, I can't I can't go past them because of the T nut in here. Anyway, that that's my spacer, and I'll once I make my next uh, setting, I'll set my next positive stop. So let me get geared up here. positive stop. So I could just keep sliding back and forth now between those two. Okay, let's make this next cut. saw here I'm going to cut these cheeks just manually cut them off and see what kind of fit I have well the one thing I need to do yeah I want to mark which face was out so I know which which cheek is which here All right, it's not bad. It's actually a pretty good fit. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. So I've got, what, what I don't have here is, I don't have it cut uh, to the right width. So I'm just going to make a couple of rough cuts here. Let me just measure this quick. Something about like that and that. I'll just make a couple of quick cuts and, and so that I can put it in here and actually see how it looks that way. So let me do that quick. I'll be right back. That's not bad. I've got a pretty nice fit there. Granted it's the shoulders aren't perfect because I didn't I, I made a quick cut but I, and I also had to cut this at an angle so it would fit in there but it does fit and it looks right you know if that leg was sitting like that that's parallel to the ground which is good so I'm gonna try it in the uh, few more and see what you know if I've got any that are sloppy or any that are really tight. I just grab one here. Let me just grab another one and see what happens. That's a little tight. If you can see that or not. That one also is a little tight. 
but at this point I'd rather they be a little tight than loose. Yeah, I don't want to have to I don't want to have to pound it in like that. So I could I I think what I can probably do is safely cut all of them. Oh, that's a good fit right there. That <laughs> that's what I want right there. Nice slip fit. That's flush. I mean, that is beautifully flush. So, if it, it's centered up on the on the uh, this is centered up, and I've got it dialed in my first try here. Oh, and that one's tight. I'll try one more. My last one here. This is my. Oh, I got my got myself pretty good there. That one's good. I like that fit. A little snug, but not too bad. And again, that one's tight. So I'm like uh, maybe just a. Couple thousandths off. Tight. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna run my. I'm gonna run the, one of my real pieces here, and we'll come back and see what kind of cuts I have to make to get the. To get these to fit, if I've got a, maybe I'll just set up my chop saw at this angle and just trim them off quick after I figure out what I need. But uh, let me run one quick and see where I'm at. Okay, this should give me a clean cut here. I want to make sure that this face is out. And then when I flip this, nope, I've got to, I've got to reverse it. So it doesn't matter. But like I said, I've got a pretty, uh, I've got a pretty well dialed in here. And then I had to, whoop, that's not the right way. I had to raise my, my uh, festival clamp up. I was afraid I might hit the, the piece there. So all I'm doing is I'm up, I'm up against this. I brought it down and flushed it to the corner here. I'm going to make my two cuts. Flip it and make uh, two more cuts, and then we'll try and put two pieces together and see what happens here.
next time I set up, I'm going to drop this down and make a sacrif sacrificial cut through this so that that inside cheek, I want to be able to push that past the blade. I don't want to get bound up in there. So that looks good. Let me see where I'm at as far as the, what I need to waste off here uh, to, to make it fit right. So hang on a second. One more thing, let me explain this to you too, I guess. When I made my initial cuts to establish that cheek, I thought I had gone deep enough, but I'm just a little short. So I'll have to clean that up with a chisel. Take that little ridge off of there. Now that won't be any problem. Okay, this is the last one on this cheek, uh, and incidentally I got these cut to length too on my chop saw, but this is a little bit I was telling you about that I got to take off here. That's all that is, just that little bit right there. So had I cut it just a little bit further, I would have been, I uh, wouldn't have to be doing this, but that's okay. I, I don't mind doing it because now I know. I've got a full cheek and it's not weakened at all, uh, so that's good. Now the next thing is, this is the one that goes in the top. So I've got to figure out where to cut my um, cut cut my tenon to width so that it'll fit nice. And I'm just going to make a couple pencil marks here, approximate pencil marks. Got to take more off the top than the bottom. So for this first one, because I want to get an idea of my fit here, I'm going to rough cut it with a handsaw. And then, and then round the shoulders over and see if I can get uh, a gauge on where I'm at as far as, as far as fitting it goes. So somewhere in there, that's where I'm at. Uh, let me grab another one here. Let's see, this one is, this is my extra one that I'm not going to use. top on this one. Okay. Let me get the some marks all the way across here, run these in, cut them off, true them up, and then uh, we'll try a fit here. So I will be, yeah, I'm going to cut them this way first, lengthwise, cut back, come back in here and make these, this cut and then true that up with a chisel, and then see how she fits. Okay, after some finagling around, I guess, it's, is it perfect? No. I'm a little, I'm a little high right, right there, and I'm a little high over here. And then conversely on the back. So it's got a little, uh, I got a little twist somewhere, but it looks pretty good otherwise I'll put it that way. Now the only way to really tell is 
you know this one fits good but that's because there's nothing un uh, holding the bottom here so I've got to cut a bottom one and see how the fit is and one thing sorry excuse me one thing I did find out here is that I'm gonna need to square off those tenons um, I mean the uh, mortises sorry square off the mortise so rounding them over it just takes it takes too much time to round them over and then you've got to you've got to get the fit just right so what I'm going to do is square up the uh, top of each mortise and have that be a uniform height so that I have something to work off of and then I can square up the top of, uh, of the tenon and hopefully that'll give me a like a registration point to uh, make this come flush so I mean it's uh, I'm making progress I'll put it that way I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far I just have to uh, I have to come up with a little better way of putting them together other I mean mortise and tenon is a good way to put them together but rather than keeping the round hole and uh, having the mortise or having the tenon fit in this way round up. so you can see that that fits nice right but I've got I've got that much slop on that one now on this one that's probably about the same thing actually it's 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 less than this one because well, first of all, I hand cut them. That had a lot to do with it. So what I, I want to figure this out. I want to figure out. I want to machine cut that tenon at a uniform height and a uniform height from the bottom here, so that I know that that's where it is. And then I want to square off my mortises, and I think I'll have much better luck that way. So it's going to take a little more time, but I got it, I guess, <laughs> uh, as far as I know, anyway. So we'll we'll just keep at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a bottom one here, but first I'm gonna square up those mortises, and then I'm gonna put one half together and see if my length uh, of the two pieces is correct. So. Uh, let me let me cut a long uh, stretcher and see how it goes together. All right, after uh, contemplating and thinking and weeping and gnashing and uh, all kinds of different things, I've decided that I mean this this is this if if I was making one piece and this was it. Uh, this is perfect. I mean, there's a definite sweet spot right there where that goes together. The problem is this sweet spot has to be the same as every other sweet spot because I'm going to do a half lap on these, or at least it has to be the same as the other half of this stool because they're, because this piece is going to get half lapped and so is this one. So what I need to do is determine which four are going together um, cut my my mortises which I've already done you know and square them up on this leg figure figure out the sweet spot I'm gonna have to cut these uh, a little bit short narrower than the than the mortise so that when I put it together I'm able to adjust it up and down just a little bit and the other reason I need to adjust it up and down a little bit is because I'm gonna have one going this way as well so I'm gonna have to be able to adjust all four of them at the same time these are gonna have to be glued together first these crosses and then I'm going to put the 
the legs together and so that's how that's going to have to work because you've got to get you've got to get the legs have to come together it's it's mind-boggling to me right now they all have to come together and they all have to hit the floor now you can be off a little bit I suppose and then true up the bottom of your legs a little bit and true up the tops but that's going to be tough to do once it's uh, put together as four pieces so I'm going to sleep on it but that's uh, that's where my mind is right now anyway I'm, I mean what I've done so far works for this for this particular A-frame but then the, the other A-frame has to mate up perfectly and the feet have to sit on the floor all at the same time I mean I suppose you could just true up two legs kind of the same way I did with the table but anyway Looks good so far. I'll, I'll get back to you tomorrow sometime.